Okay, so logic is an important part of geometry. We weave it through every unit that we teach. So today is the day that we're going to weave conditionals into the triangle unit. We have already talked about all four types of conditionals, the original, the converse, the inverse, and the contrapositive. You'll be tested over this one in this unit. This is the only one that's never showed up on a test. So we're going to kind of focus on contrapositive, but we're still going to review all four of them. So let me remind you what they are. Conditional. It's an if-then statement. If P, then Q. If it is raining, then I will get wet. <laughs> I don't know. The converse is when you reverse the P and the Q. You switch places. You reverse the hypothesis and the conclusion. If I get wet, then it is raining. The inverse is when you add not not. So you take the original and you add, you negate both of them. Negate the hypothesis, negate the conclusion. So if it is not raining, then I do not get wet. And then the one we're focusing on is a converse and inverse mashup. Dun, dun, dun. The contrapositive is a combo of the converse and the inverse. So you trade places and you negate. So if I do not get wet, then it was not raining. Okay? So there's our little summary of all of our different conditional states. So we have a statement. If triangle ABC is equilateral, then the measure of angle B is 60 degrees. What's the truth value of our original? What's the truth value of our conditional statement? Cool. What do y'all think? Good. If it's equilateral, we have a theorem. If it's equilateral, then it's equiangular. And if it's equiangular, then every angle is 60. So that has a truth value of true. Is it a Perfect. So we're reversing the hypothesis and conclusion. If the measure of angle B is 60, then triangle ABC is equilateral. Alrighty, someone else go ahead and yell out what you think the truth value is. Everyone can yell it out. What is it? False. It is false. Good. And when the truth value is false, we always want to have a counterexample. Let's draw a triangle where the measure of angle B is 60, but it's not equilateral. In this triangle, the measure of angle B is 60. Check. But it's not equilateral. False. So we found a counterexample. So the truth value is false. Who would like to read their inverse? Blue. If triangle ABC is not equilateral, then the measure of angle B is not 60. Yay, perfect. If triangle ABC is not equilateral, then the measure of angle B does not equal 60 degrees. All right, class, you can yell it out. True or false? False. false. Yay, false. perfect. It's another false. And who would like to read the contrapositive? Don't all jump at once. If measure B does not equal 60, then ABC does not equal, that ABC is not equilateral. Good. Perfect. Thank you. So if the measure of angle B is not 60, then triangle ABC is not equilateral. Ooh, what about that one? Is that one true or false? True. It is true. If you have a triangle and one of its angles is not 60, it's out of the running. It can no longer be equilateral. That one is true. Do you notice a pattern here with the truth values? Wait. Yes, and the converse and the 
and verse have the same truth. So if you want to write there, welcome to, unless you already did at the beginning of the year. Unconditional and the contrapositive always have the same truth value. And the converse and the inverse always have the same truth value. So if you've got conditional, converse, inverse, contrapositive, your choices are like true, false, false, true, false, true, true, false, or true all the way down or false all the way down. Those are the only possibilities. You can't get true, false, true, false, or true and then false the rest of the time. Those are the only combos because the conditional and the contrapositive will always match and the converse and the inverse will always match. And that's going to help you with your homework a lot. Knowing that will speed up when you're doing the truth value on your homework, okay? All right, let's practice a few more contrapositives since that's the one we're trying to focus on this unit. If a team scores the most points, then they win the game. Someone read me the contrapositive if you haven't read yet today. Keep going. Me? Oh, but uh, that does not score the most points. Yeah. If they don't win the game, then they don't score the most points. What is the truth value of the original? Come on, y'all can think of a counterexample. Golf! Yay, following very good. Golf! Do you want to score the most points in golf? No. No, you do not. What's another one? Do you know another counterexample? Um, if they score a lot of points, but then break some kind of rule. Oh, I didn't even think of it that way. They score more points, but then it gets taken back or something. They get disqualified. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So, you're right, but this that's not really a team. Okay, I love how you said electoral college, but I, I don't know if that's a team. I don't call that a game. Politics isn't a game as much as you want to think it might be. Okay, anyways, what is the truth value of the contrapositive? Yeah, it's going to be the same as the original, so it's going to be false again. Let's try another one. You might not have to wear IDs at your school, but we're supposed to wear them at our school. So our conditional is, if you don't wear your ID, then you will go to the office. Who would like to read the contrapositive? You can just start talking. If you don't go to the office, then you wear your ID. Nice. I love how seamlessly you just took care of the not, not. Because when you negate this, the not goes away. If you don't go to the office, you do wear your ID. Awesome. What's the truth value of that one? It's probably debatable, right? False. Yeah. There could be a teacher that doesn't catch it or a teacher who doesn't send the kid to the office. So those are both going to be false as well because there's definitely counterexamples to that. All righty. All right. We're still slowly taking baby steps into doing proofs. So... On your, in your notes, I want you to number one through five, although I kind of already gave four to you. So number one through five in your notes. So this piece of paper is attached to the calendar today. It's a lovely paper with 46 theorems, right? 46 theorems. Do you know how many of them you have in your brain? No. You have 36 in your brain. 36 out of 46. Whoa! You've learned a lot of stuff. Pretty cool. Or should have. So look we'll at 36. Oh, sorry. 35. That was my bad. 35. We won't learn 36. You know 35 out of 46. Triangle inequality theorem. Oh, man. Fail, Miss Tan. 34. 34. The triangle inequality theorem is where we left off. That was the last theorem we learned. 
So um, this paper, these are all the choices we have when we're deciding what the reason is. We're going to make a statement in our proof, and the reason is going to be one of these reasons, one of these 34 reasons, okay? Students ask me, do I need to memorize this? Not necessarily, you just need to practice all the proofs I give you. If there's a proof in the homework, if there's a proof in the lesson, you need to practice it. And the more proofs you practice, the more you won't read this paper anymore. No, you don't need to go home and memorize this paper. That's not what I'm saying. Most of these we've been using throughout our units. All right, let's look at this proof. We're trying to prove the exterior angle theorem. You learned that theorem, but we don't want to take it for granted. We want to know where the theorem came from, so we're going to prove it. So to start by proving it, we're going to start with what? What is this called from your paper? Angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 equals 180. Very good, Jenny. That is the triangle sum theorem. Triangle sum theorem. Oops, that's an M, H, M. We'll go with that. Um, so you're going to say something, but then you're going to tell me why you know it's true. How do you know 1 plus 2 plus 3 equals 180? Oh, because someone came up with the triangle sum theorem, and I'm allowed to use that as one of my reasons now. Okay. Then, we want to say that 3 and 4 are supplementary. That's us making a statement. Why are we allowed to make that statement? Why are they supplementary? Good! I'm going to write it out this time. Linear pair theorem. It's the LPT, but we don't always remember what that stands for, so I wanted to write it out. You do have to put theorem. You can't just write linear pair, okay? Because some of these are going to be definitions, and some are going to be theorems, so we want to make sure we're specific there. Okay. Now, they gave us the reason, and we have to say the statement. Sorry, the bell's not to ring. We're using the definition of supplementary. What are we trying to say? What's our statement? Let's do equal 180. Yay! The measure of angle 3 plus the measure of angle 4 sums equals 180 degrees. Why are we allowed to say that? Because of the definition of supplementary. Good. Then we do some fancy algebra work. We say, well, if V is equal 180 and V is equal 180, I can do some substitution to where, let's call this A, let's call this B, and then there's 180. Well, if A equals 180 and B equals 180, then A equals B. Then A equals B. And what did I do there? I used substitution. I substituted what equaled each other. You always end with what you're trying to prove. You always end with what you're trying to prove. We're trying to prove the exterior angle theorem. We're trying to prove that the measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 2 equals... Maybe not. The measure of angle 4. How did we get from here to here? Well, we just subtracted angle 3 from both sides. When you get rid of angle 3, then you literally have the exterior angle theorem. So that is a proof. We went from triangle sum and linear pair theorem, and we made it all the way to exterior angle theorem. We used linear pair in the degrees in a triangle. I'm going to do one more proof, and then we're done. Oh, my goodness. Okay. All right. If you're still with me, let's do this proof. So now, we're just trying to solve a problem. We're trying to prove that when we do all this math, that this angle ends up being 125. But we're going to list everything we do, and we're going to say why. All right. The measure of angle 1 is 115. Why? The reasons. When you try to do the reasons, you say why. Why is that 115? Who knows? It was given. Yay! 
It was given to us. So when some information is given to you, you get to just write given. All right? Angle one and angle two are supplementary. This is a repeat. Why are they supplementary? LP theorem. Linear pair theorem. Good job. I'll abbreviate this time since we already wrote it out last time and you know what I'm talking about. Linear pair theorem. Alrighty. What statement do I want to see, say next if my reason is supplementary? What's my statement? Angle 1 plus angle 2 equals 180. Perfect. Measure of angle 1 plus measure of angle 2 equals 180. So now I know that I'm introducing another number. I've got 115, now I've got 180. Now, how do I know angle 2 is 65? How do I know why is angle 2 65? Because of subtraction? Yes, because 180 minus 115, 180 minus 115 is 65. So my reason is subtraction. All right. The measure of angle 3 is 60. Ooh. Why is that true? Everyone look at the top. Look at the top. Subtraction. Um, actually, we could have done it that way, but no. Given. Given. No, actually, we couldn't. It had to be given to us. Remember, we don't know this yet. We don't know this yet. So, angle 3 is 60 for no other reason, but they gave it to us. Okay. So, now, we're going to find the measure of angle 4. We're going to use the exterior angle theorem. So, when we use it, what are we doing mathematically? Use it. Adding the angle. Angle one. Good. Yeah, you got it. Sorry. So the measure of angle two plus the measure of angle three equals the measure of angle four. And if we substitute in everything we know, if we substitute 65 and we substitute 60, then we will get 125. Substitution. Yay, you're true mathematicians. You're proving things. Remember, we're still taking baby steps. You'll, you won't have to prove on the test yet. We're just getting you used to proofs. Try your homework tonight. Have an awesome day.